For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn. And for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world, for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Join us for a moment to give thanks for our magnificent cosmos. With radiant stars in the night sky, blessing our splendid little planet with their brilliance from afar. We are like a tiny speck encompassed by the creativeness of the universe, surrounded by billions of glorious galaxies all interwoven together by the thread of universal love. May we always rejoice and be forever grateful for our place in the cosmos. This is Māori for greetings to you all. My name is Lisa. Wonderful New Zealand loves you for always being considerate of the needs of others, as you are a reminder that we are the kind children of God. May you continue to be a beacon of light for all. In the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, you could be greeted with Uncle, which is welcome in the Zhuang language. I'm Qingchen. We all have fixed karma that we must undergo when we come to this world, but it can be changed through the loving power of an enlightened master. Spectacular Guangxi hopes you will have this rare chance in this lifetime and wishes you the best divine arrangement. Welcome to Noteworthy News, thoughtful news for a reviving world. Thoughtful news for a considerate world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com, as well as on YouTube and iOS or Android apps. For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. New Supreme Master Television outlets. We are happy to announce Supreme Master Television is now also available in Arabic-speaking communities worldwide on Arab TV, in the United States, on Jinnico Faith TV, and on podcast on Amazon Music. Supreme Master Television is available all around the globe, broadcasting on worldwide satellites across Canada, Mexico, and the United States on Galaxy 19 KU Band at 97.0 degrees west, across Australia and New Zealand on Optus D2 KU Band at 152 degrees east, across South and Southeast Asia on ABS2 Southern Beam KU Band at 75.0 degrees east, across North Africa and the Middle East on Utelsat 7W Mena Beam KU Band at 7.0 degrees west, or Nilesat position, across East Asia on Appstar 7 KU Band at 76.5 degrees degrees east, across Russia and surrounding areas on Yamal 401 KU band at 90 degrees east, across the Middle East on Yasat 1 East Beam KU band at 52.5 degrees east, in Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe on Intelsat 20 KU band at 68.5 degrees east, in Central and South Americas as well as Mexico on Hispasat 30W-6 KU band at 30 degrees west. In Canada, Joy TV on TELUS Satellite TV in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, Budiatia, Russia, and throughout Mongolia on D-Dish Satellite TV on Channel 211, throughout the United States on Glory Star Satellite TV Channel 909. 
also in Canada, Bell TV Canada, as well as locally on numerous cable and IPTV networks. Please search by postcode at joytv.ca forward slash channel dash finder for full channel listings. And Faith TV, please search by postcode at faithtelevision.ca for your local channel listings. Plus, in Mongolia, Erdenet City, Darkhan, and Ulaanbaatar on Univision Cable TV. And throughout Lebanon on Channel 111 on Cablevision. For full frequency information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash satellite. Additionally, Supreme Master Television is available on media streaming television services worldwide in more than 232 countries, territories, and regions via Apple TV, LG Smart TVs, and Roku Streaming TV, in 111 countries on Amazon Fire TV, in 144 countries via Android-based TV systems, in 198 countries on Samsung Smart TVs, on shortwave radio in Sub-Saharan Africa, Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East on 15770 kHz, in South and Central Americas on 5800 kHz, in Central and Eastern United States, plus Canada, Bermuda, Greenland, and Iceland on 9395 kHz, in the Western United States, Western Canada, and Mexico on 5950 kHz, and in Central, South, Southeast, and Western Asia on 7570 kHz and on podcast on audible.com, Google Podcasts, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, and more. Supreme Master Television is also available in Argentina, in Huanacotlai City, La Punta City, and San Luis City on channel 539 on San Luis Cable TV. Throughout Bangladesh on Jago BD TV, in Belize, in Belize City, Belmopan, Benque, and Cayo District, channel 239 or frequency 291 MHz on Central TV and Internet, in Punta Gorda and Stan Creek District, channel 224 on Southern Cable, and throughout Belize on Omnistream Z via Southern Cable, in Bosnia and Herzegovina on Max TV, in Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand on Malimar TV Network. In Cameroon, in Bamenda, Boya, Douala, Kribi, Kumba, Limbe, Tico, and Yaounde on Southwest Communication. In Chile, in Puente Alto, Santiago, channel frequency 58.1 on Intercable. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Kinshasa, on PSTV. In the Republic of the Congo and Central Africa, on DRTV, channel 332 on Canal Plus. In Pointe Noire, Republic of the Congo, on channel 25 or frequency 503.31 MHz on local TV in El Salvador on DC IPTV, and in San Miguel and Usulutan on cable set. In Guatemala, in Guatemala City, Channel 69 on Cable Minerva, and Electronica Chilena in Barberena and Zargoza, Channel 58 on Cable Minerva, and in Esquipulas, Channel 110 on Cable Facil Digital, in Guyana on Airlink Communications, in India on Airtel, DD Direct, Dish TV, Reliance, and Tata Sky on Sadna TV, as well as Geo and all cable networks throughout the Middle East and Greece on Zap TV. In Nepal and India, Clear TV, Dish Home, Mero TV, Sim TV, and Sky TV on Bhakti Darshan TV. In New Zealand on Mainland Television. In Nicaragua on Nika TV. In Panama on Latin Play TV. In Peru in Ancash on DKR. In Huancayo on Cable Red. In Lima, Cable Vision, Cable Peru, Super Cable, Servi Cable, and Cable Lacer on Asiri TV. And in Puno on Televisión Universitaria Cable TV. In Taiwan, also known as Formosa, on Fane TV. In Changhua on Santa Cable TV. In Kaohsiung on Phoenix Cable TV, in Jilung on Prosperity Cable TV, in Pingtung on Guansheng Digital CATV, on Pingnan CATV, in Tainan on Nantian Cable TV, in Taoyuan on North Taoyuan Cable TV, in Taipei on cable giant Xinpingdao, Chuanlian, Da'an Wenshang, Xing Taipei, Xing Tangchen, and Yangmingshan Cable TV, and in Ilan Channel 4 on Union Cable TV in Trinidad and Tobago on Airlink Communications, in the United Kingdom on Connected Freeview and EETV Box via Vision TV, Freesat and Sky on Showcase TV, in the United States on Simul TV and Public Access TV, in California on MidPen Media Center, BCM TV, KMVT, KOCT, CMAP TV, Access Sacramento, Comcast, SF Commons, Korea TV, KSAR, and Pasadena Media, in New York, on Brick TV, MNN, PATV, Long Island, QPTV, and White Plains, PATV. In Washington, D.C., on DC TV. We have multiple more channels which are not announced here due to lack of space and time. Please log on for your choices or and areas, as we might also have more new channels anytime.
For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nasze programy oferują wiele języków. Prosimy zobaczyć suprememastertv.com ukośnik schedule. Also, be sure to follow us on our socials. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Reddit, TikTok, Tumblr, and Twitter in multiple languages by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, New Zealand boosts support to Fiji following Cyclone Yasa. Research shows COVID-19 causes damage to the brain. Scottish man wins award for wheelchair design. New study shows the enormous benefit of wetlands. 18-year-old emergency worker rescues man from burning car. Swedish plant-based milk company raises 4.8 million pounds in funding to expand its distribution. And 30 slow lorises released back to rainforest in Indonesia. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global network. New Zealand provides additional aid to cyclone-affected Fijians. New Zealand Foreign Minister, the Honourable Nani Amahuta, announced that an extra 1.4 million US dollars will be given to assist the Fijian government in responding to urgent priorities in the wake of Cyclone Yasa. It will also enable the New Zealand High Commission in Suva to provide emergency water and sanitation, shelter and trauma counselling. In addition, the funding will help New Zealand non-governmental organisations relief recovery work through local partners partners, as well as the Fiji Red Cross efforts through the International Federation of the Red Cross. Supplies from New Zealand of essential household items and materials to build basic shelters have already been delivered. New Zealand is a recipient of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Peace and a laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Climate Change Mitigation and Shining World Leadership Awards for Earth Conservation, Earth Protection, Earth Guardian and Earth Restoration. Our appreciation, New Zealand, and the Honourable Nania Mahuta for your loving support of the people of Fiji. In heaven's benevolence, may more countries follow your commitment to helping fellow brothers and sisters in need. COVID-19 found to cause brain damage in some patients. Researchers from the National Institutes of Health in the United States were recently surprised to discover stroke-like brain damage in people who lost their lives due to COVID-19. The harm was found in the olfactory bulb, which controls the sense of smell, and also the brain stem where heart rate and breathing are controlled. It appears that the effect was caused by the inflammatory response of the body to the virus, as there was no virus present in the brain tissue, although the virus may have been in the brain earlier. The study has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Thank you, National Institutes of Health researchers, for helping people to further understand the serious risk of contracting COVID-19. May all people take the necessary hygiene precautions, such as wearing a mask, to protect each other from possible transmission in God's love. Up next, Scottish man improves wheelchair design. We are going to thank mortgage loan officers that specialize in commercial and residential real estate loans and help clients in the loan approval process. Please stay for more thoughtful news on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Good day, inquisitive viewers. It's Peter, the vegan African penguin. I believe you have a compassionate heart. Can you help me by going vegan? Here is a gardening tip on how to break down clay soil in a planting hole. Add powdered gypsum in the planting hole and cover it with soil, then fill it up with water. It is recommended you scoop in two to three handfuls of powdered gypsum per square meter. The gypsum causes the clay fragments to adhere to each other to create a crumb-like construct. However, it may take a few months to achieve the full effect. A quicker way is to utilize a liquid clay breaker containing organic matter. Something like weed tea is suitable for this, but will need to be diluted to a weak tea color. Weed tea is made by taking weeds from your garden and letting them decompose in water for a couple weeks. After you add in the weed tea, scoop a handful of powdered gypsum into the planting hole. 
fill it with water and allow it to drain. Break up the clay particles in the hole manually and now you are ready to plant. Much love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Thank you for watching and now for the weather around the world. Scottish inventor wins prize for pioneering wheelchair design. Andrew Slorrance, founder of Phoenix Instinct, which creates products that support independence for wheelchair users, is winner of the Global Mobility Unlimited Challenge for his team's high-tech wheelchair design. The challenge is sponsored by the Toyota Mobility Foundation in partnership with Nesta's Challenge Prize Centre of the United Kingdom. Phoenix Instinct will use the US$1 million prize from the win to help further develop the lightweight wheelchair.
Made from carbon fiber, the new design uses smart sensors to automatically adjust the center of gravity to ensure the chair does not tip over and remains agile. Mr. Slorrance, who is himself a wheelchair user, plans to have the innovative chair on the market in two years. Congratulations, Andrew Slorrance and Phoenix Instinct, on your much-deserved prize, and thank you Toyota and Nesta for this excellent challenge. In the elating grace of the Providence, may such smart technology as this help provide mobility and freedom to many precious children of God. New study highlights the immense benefits of wetlands. A recent study by researchers from the United States and Australia have concluded that coastal wetlands protect the land from cyclones by absorbing storm surges from the ocean as well as slowing winds. Between 1967 and 2016, Australia experienced 54 cyclones that caused around 2.3 billion US dollars in damages. However, it was calculated that coastal wetlands were responsible for minimizing much of the damage, which would have totaled 23 billion US dollars if they did not exist. It was also noted that globally, 447 billion US dollars is saved each year due to their presence. The scientists estimate that maintaining at least 1.5% of coastal areas as wetlands maximizes the averted damage. Our sincere appreciation, researchers, for determining the enormous value of wetlands. We pray that all natural habitats will be safeguarded as we cherish our lovely earth home in heaven's light. 18-year-old emergency worker rescues a man from a burning car. Grace Snyder, an emergency medical technician, EMT, with Cumberland Goodwill Emergency Medical Services, EMS, in Carlisle. Pennsylvania, United States, came to the scene at 1.30 a.m. after an elderly man had crashed his car, which then ignited. When Miss Snyder arrived with a group of EMTs, she immediately got a close hold on the victim and pulled him out while comforting him with encouraging words. The brave woman, who is also a volunteer firefighter, managed to rescue the man just 20 seconds before a major part of the car exploded. The victim was rushed to the hospital and fortunately had only minor injuries. Miss Snyder's heroism was applauded by Cumberland Goodwill EMS in a tweet. Our heartfelt gratitude, Grace Snyder, and all emergency workers who put their lives in danger in order to save others. May God always shield you in your noble mission. Up next on Noteworthy News, Swedish plant-based milk company raises £4.8 million in funding to expand its distribution. We'll just take a moment to thank the brilliant sun for giving us extra warmth during cold winter days. We'll return with more motivating news on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, supporting news for an encouraging world. Plant-based milk producer plants expansion. Launched in 2018, Swedish company Sprout has recently raised 4.8 million pounds in funding to expand the distribution of its sustainable and nutritious vegan milk made using yellow split pea protein. It is available in four flavors, barista, original, unsweetened, and chocolate. Sprout has already successfully moved into 15 markets, including Canada, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The company will use the recent funding to grow and develop its product offerings with plans to accelerate distribution and brand refinement. The financing comes from UK-based early growth capital investor VGC Partners, who have also backed US headquartered Just, creators of award-winning vegan egg products. Congratulations, Sprout team. May you see continued success in your vegan ventures in divine delight. 30 Javan slow lorises are released back to their habitat in Indonesia. According to the Centre for Natural Resources Conservation in Indonesia, these nocturnal primates were surrendered by members of the surrounding community. Before being released back to the wilderness, the lorises had to undergo a process of recovery and treatment to restore their natural instincts. After medical examinations and behavioural observations, the lorises were transferred to a midway enclosure for two weeks. The release was a collaboration between the Mount Halimun Salak National Park, the Centre for Natural Resources Conservation, and International Animal Rescue Indonesia. Our warm gratitude, Centre for Natural Resources Conservation, Mount Halimun Salak National Park, and International Animal Rescue Indonesia for this wonderful rescue programme. In the blessings of Allah, may all animals and rainforests be forever protected. Here's a joke from our selection to lighten our minds. It's entitled Peeled Potatoes. <laughs> 
Janice is texting her husband from work. Can you help me peel half of the potatoes and put them in a pot to boil, please? Okay. After she finished all of her tasks and went home, Janice was surprised. Her husband proudly said, "Hello, darling. Here they are: potatoes peeled halfway and put in a pot to boil." <laughs> And now we have a heartline from Sunny from Malaysia. Dear most beloved master and supreme master television team, I'm Sunny, a fellow initiate from Malaysia, currently living in Aulak, or Vietnam. After master sent a series of messages to people, such as those who are still doing business involving animal suffering, spiritual leaders, and governments around the world, I conveyed master's message to all my relatives, friends. And religious organizations that I have been involved with, around 42 email addresses and Facebook accounts altogether, I have received some responses from them. I still keep patiently sending the message and joining in prayer with Master every Sunday night. Today, I am delighted to receive a message from Drew's community around the world. They greatly appreciate Master's message. They wrote, "Thanks for sharing. We agree with you. We have to be aware of not harming other creatures. We, the admins or administrators, and the web page manager are vegan and vegetarian, and the manager is running another FB or Facebook page, defends animals' rights. Thank you. Much love. This is an encouraging response. I believe that soon humanity will be fully awakened." And adopt a compassionate vegan diet to preserve the life and dignity of all sentient beings, and lead the world into a truly peaceful golden age. May Master be in good health, happiness, and peace in the most powerful heaven's protection. May Supreme Master Television be in constant development, bringing many wonderful and useful programs to benefit the world and sentient beings. Sunny from Malaysia. Devoted Sunny. Our gratitude for writing about your efforts to encourage others to adopt the vegan lifestyle. We too see that more and more people are opting to become plant-based to save countless animal lives and address Earth's severe environmental problems. With Supreme Master Ching Hai's guidance, Supreme Master Television continues working to provide the best and most enlightening viewing. We pray the gods bless your noble endeavors and the happy Malaysian people with great wisdom and divine bliss. In universal love, Supreme Master TV team. P.S. Master also says, inspiring Sunny. Thank you for sharing with your loved ones and religious entities the urgent message regarding the need to U-turn immediately and embrace vegan living to preserve our planet. We have added Thursdays to our weekly World Vegan Prayer, and you can inform those in your circle of this added day to meditate and pray for a transformation of consciousness, so that all life is soon held sacred by humanity. May Allah's protection be forever with you and upright Malaysia. We welcome your heart lines, stories, and/or cute, loving animal clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash heartline. Pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world and for lasting peace. Please join Supreme Master Ching Hai to sincerely meditate and/or pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world and for lasting peace every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. Make、uh, an alarm. Wherever you are, whatever you do, please stop for some moment to pray for World Vegan with us. Nine o'clock evening, Hong Kong time. It's been a pleasure having your company on Noteworthy News. May celestial light continue to shine on our world. 
We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies, everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash schedule and SupremeMasterTV.com forward slash NWN.